Hey guys, Dan with Great Overland, sitting here on the edge of a Link 148 all-wheel drive on the Ford Transit chassis. And I wanted to talk to you about this big cable. This is a shore power cable. We use a smart plug, super high-end plug for our shore power. Now, most of our owners, honestly, they very rarely use this cable. But I wanted to talk about a safety fact, and this is something that it doesn't matter what Class B you have for the most part. Um, most Class Bs have a 30 amp cable and not a 50 amp cable, but the principle is the same. On the other end of this, you've got this 30 amp plug style. And if you go to like an RV or camp RV site or a campground, oftentimes they'll have a 30 amp plug. And this is a 30 foot cable. So this thing is specifically designed for this. The cabling, the wiring that's inside here is designed to carry 30 amps. And we've seen this out, and so I wanted to point this out. This doesn't have anything to do with a Grit Overland van or only our product. This is everybody for safety. So if you're seeing this and you have a different style van, just think about this before you do it because we've seen this a lot and it's a safety issue. So what we'll see is on the other end of this, and we provide our vans come with this, it's a 30 amp adapter. So you just plug in the 30 amp adapter because they're not as common. And now you can actually plug this into like the side of your house or any other 110 outlet. However, this is not designed for 30 amps. So when you do this, this should be the end of the system right here. And what we see a lot is people plug this into the side of their van and then they go over and this isn't maybe quite long enough. And so they'll run it into an extension cord, but they'll just use a regular old extension cord. Here's the problem the wire gauge or the wire size inside that extension cable, very rarely, unless it's really big and it's like the size of this cable, which is like the size of your thumb, it's not rated for 30 amps. So you're pulling a ton of energy through a really small cable, which means it's kind of like forcing a bunch of uh, water through a small hose. And so that is dangerous because what happens is that increases resistance and then it is given off as heat. And so you're at risk for fire or other damage or damage of the system or damage of the breaker or the house. And so what we would never want to see is we would never want to see someone start a fire because they used the wrong size cord on accident. And so just indiscriminate of what kind of van you have before you plug into an extension cord, think through that process, turn down the energy level at which you're going to take energy from that plug and also don't make the cable too long. Um, it's not ideal for the system and it's dangerous as well. So you guys hope this helps. Um, if you're interested, check out some more of our videos and uh, hopefully we gave you some good information today.